Kenzie Wofford. I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <sighs> a federal warrant. We need a man on the cranker. Get him. You heard, Lindsay? Get to your places. We're seeing some fighting today. I am going to kill you. Honest. He got Lindsay, but he ain't taking him. I believe this body's worth something. Well, now, so much for them boys being the terror of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. I make good on my promises. Here's your payment. I'm worth every penny. Hey, are you blind? It's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. Fine morning today. Come on, move already! made on the new railroad for those who know which way the slip goes. No? Mm -hmm. Good morning to you. Hey, uh, forgive me. 
Hello, sirs. Hello. Sir, good morning. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Um, need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Hey, fellas. Howdy. Hello. Come on, boy. It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean hey. off you. Come All on. Right. And All I'll right. tall you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. Even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Mr. Black and Mr. White. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Move! Oh, no, you don't. Ah! Oh, I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. Right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been tr Fine for hours. 
He ain't no cap man till he can get on a horse. This is uh, very kind of you. Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a <laughs> I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Your past catches up with you. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it someone else would have. Tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't white as white. I hope your past catches up. <clears throat> Something. Hey, uh, uh. Try not to bleed on me. Oh. Hey, you got something to hide. Show me your face. All right, friend. All right, we're at the doctor. This place is plumb crazy. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. And set him down on this chair. Oh, it's you. You should not be doing all this. Anyway, there's no time for that now. Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment, but we'll deal with that later. All right, all right. A lot of blood loss, and this wound's badly infected. Ah! I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. There you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here, and in your condition. But I'd suggest <clears throat> you go rest now. This won't be pleasant. Sorry it's come to this.
know you're in a bad way. But you'll pull through. That man was nearly gone. I'm impressed. I'm more impressed with you, friend. If I were you, I wouldn't be able to straddle a horse, much less carry a man on it. <sighs> it's nice of you to stay, but don't fret. You'll make it. Come now. Let's let him rest. All we can do now is hope for the best. Oh, yeah. 